Hey folks, so today I got a comment asking me the following question. How do you make cutscenes in a paper computer game? Also, has there ever been a cutscene in a PCG? Yes, there has, and there's a bunch of different kinds. Let's get into it. bunch of different ways to do it that I've seen. They all work really well depending on the kind of story that you want to tell. The simplest way is just to tell the player what happens when they get to a certain point in the story. Okay, you make it to the next screen, that's you, And but right as you walk over here, you notice that there's a rock over here. And at first you're like, okay, it's just a rock, but then somebody steps out from behind it. It's Guinevere and she's holding a gun she pulls it out and she points it right at you and she's like so long but right before she can fire somebody flies down from the air and is like I'm gonna stop you from shooting him that's the minimal effort way and it's fine for a lot of situations but it doesn't have that oomph that you want from a video game cutscene we want to see it if your game uses stickers or cutout characters, uh, that makes the situation better because you can move the characters around while you're telling the player what happens. And Farzikin's like, whatever. And he is just gonna like ignore this guy and like come to kill you. But this guy like points his rocket launcher at Farzikin and he's like, oh. leave. So Farzikin like, leaps up he does like a flying leap the the rocket launcher fires there's like an explosion here where Farzakan was oh. and this guy is gonna scramble up to this guy's neck and he's about to slit it and if you're feeling really ambitious you could even make cutouts for effects like explosions like Via did here in this PCG but as she ate the apple Something happened. Oh my. The princess is now. I'm over it. <laughs> oh no. Are you feeling okay? No. But sometimes you want a more detailed cutscene that has dramatic camera angles and whatnot. Character cutouts aren't gonna cut it. You could use a comic cutscene. Uh, you basically just draw a comic book page and then you use that page as the cinematic. Some of these panels can look really cool, and you can add as much dialogue as you want since it's a comic. The downside is it's less interactive, so unlike other PCG cutscenes, the player can't, like, try something in the middle of one. But sometimes that's okay. Sometimes you want to take a break completely from playing to just have a story moment. And there's one last technique you can use that's really dramatic, but only useful in a few cases. Basically, you draw or erase during the game. Let's say you're in a boss fight, and the boss grows into a new form. You can dramatically draw extra parts for him and erase old ones as you describe what's happening. It works! You hit the spider on the head with Zuvac, poof, and he's going down, he's going down, poof, and he seems like he's out. But then something is wrong. He starts to kind of twitch a little, and then, and then something, like his skin, starts to ripple and and bulge and and something is happening this isn't this isn't the same something it bursts from his flesh and he's got two huge huge legs and he's like and now he's coming at you again. What do you do? This can feel really intense and cool, but it can only be used in a few cases. It gives the feeling like something's happening before your eyes, but it wouldn't work too well for fast action scenes, for example. So yeah, those are some ways I've seen used in PCGs, and I've used all of them at different times. They're all really useful in different situations. And really, you should feel comfortable mixing and matching them based on what kind of cutscene you want for your story. Sometimes it might be best to use a few of them in different parts of the same PCG. 
This is one of the cool things about PCGs. They're so versatile and you can do so many different things with them. So just let me know in the comments if any of these sound like something you would use in any of your games. Thanks so much for watching, folks.